Hey, what's going on guys? It's Edwin from Edwin's Collection and I'm happy to release another video. And this time is a little bit different because this guy now is a statue. It is a quarter scale, but he is from a video game line. And as you can see, obviously he's from Super Mario and we're talking about Bowser from First Four Figures. A one quarter scale, very impressive piece if you see it in person. Uh, directly from this company which I have a couple of pieces and I've been waiting for this piece for almost two years which is really unbelievable and just way way too long you'll find out if it was worth uh, the wait as many other people there's been issues with this uh, statue there's been reviews and issues in different ways which I'll be showing throughout this review and just giving you a accurate view and non-bias really just to give you facts of what this statue is and what you should expect um, as far as if you haven't yet received this uh, piece yet which i know that many collectors are still been waiting for such a long time so the statue came in two boxes uh one of the boxes has a the base along with the exclusive uh and as you can see uh looking at the base here there was a uh, rubbing of the paint that's one of the biggest issues also with this piece i have the same problem uh, going uh, around uh, the the base there are different spots that actually have paint issues uh, which I'll be showing in a little bit that but that's a that's a big um, issue right there the flame also was in the box uh, with uh, the base in one of the boxes this one was really heavy actually this piece and you can see there's a little dot there in the middle of the flame which I'm not sure what that's about but very um, very heavy uh, piece Looking over the base, you can see the smudges throughout uh, the base. Uh, this obviously either was already there or it happened even more in transit. There are two big spots there have been uh, rubbing throughout. I guess the shipping time and it's rubbed not only on the sides but also as you see on the top on the outer ring of the base. So there's, you could definitely see many spots that have the paint issues on this base. So that's something I'll be contacting uh, First Force Figures about. They will get this video along with very detailed pictures that I'll take with my DSLR so they can see exactly what the, what the issue was as far as the base alone. So the second box you can see here came, uh, which has only one big piece and is the actual body old Bowser. Very heavy, very heavy piece, a very heavy box. And obviously this guy is all together, so he's very massive and one of the one of the heaviest uh, statues I've had, I've lifted really. So he's you got to be very careful when you put him together on the base. Going over an overall look of this when you first see it, it's very impressive. He has uh, pretty nice colors uh, on the whole body. There's uh, good textures. Uh, some of the good things about it is good textures on the body. As you can see, he has a reptilian uh, look and feel on the actual skin and you can see that texture in, on the legs part of the body and also the arms You can definitely see that the face itself is also a different pattern which has that kind of a reptile or a skin of a snake type of um, type of pattern there on the green and also on the mouth the back which looks pretty cool. I like it. I think they did a good job as far as um Putting it together, I guess the design is pretty well done, which has like a look and feel of a turtle back there. But one of the other issues was just the paint application throughout uh, the statue, which was one of the, I would say the biggest second issue. With this statue is the application of the paint. I think uh, QC just didn't do a good job of really going over these statues. You can see there are some spots there of paint on the sides there of the arm and look at the paint there between the white and the green it's running over a lot on the white i think that should have been blended in or somehow had like a definition not like here like you can see it totally running through at the white and i don't think that that's how it should be so that's really definitely an issue as far as this statues i'm not the only one that had this issue there's just been many people that have had this uh, problem with first word figures
another thing is here yeah, the mouth you can see on the lips or the, the part of the lips there that red just came out a little too much on the outside and he looks like he has many people say lipstick but um, that could have been done better as well so overall i think uh paint application definitely could have been much better they, they don't get uh, a good grade for that so uh, that's something that definitely needed to be improved in this in this statue um, um i do like the statue overall but uh those issues are definitely there but um i do like the way they did the design of the back there with the spikes i think the spikes overall have a good look and feel and, and the different coloration that it does have it's it's pretty well done i, I wouldn't find anything uh, major problems there there might be just a few spots that could have been uh, painted a little bit but it's not as bad as the other especially the separations of the different parts of the back uh, as far as paint uh, as you can see the base is fairly simple uh, it's basically just a base from one of the levels of a bowser and you know there's not much to it what looks to be some types of flooring from one of the levels there i think the paint they, they, there's some shading there there's some gray on black and it looks pretty good overall i think they did a good job as far as the paint application there just the main thing was these issues that you can see right there just uh all those spots and uh, all the rubbing that came uh, from either the shipping or just qc that wasn't fixed uh, while i was over there uh, I do like the way they did the spikes there all around the base which looks uh, really does give you that feel of the game from the different levels that you play uh, with Bowser there. Uh, so I think uh, that was a good way of showing uh, the character and, and, and just the look and feel of what the video game is all about. Looking over the EX version and what you get as, with the exclusive. And as you can see, I was trying to get this to show uh, the lighting feature. And this is the other big uh, problem with this statue is that the light up features is really, really, really weak. You can't really uh, see it if you have the lights on. And even my lights are pretty uh, low on, in this room. So even with them, you really just can't see it. It's actually on, but you can't tell at all. So it's either my flame that has an issue that just doesn't have enough power. I'm not sure if other collectors that have received this have the same issue. You just can't really tell that it's on. You really have to turn off the lights to be able to tell uh, that it's on and, and it has that different modes. Gradient type of feel that goes from one side all the way to the other side, kind of like an effect. But uh, once again, you really can't tell if you have your lights on. Uh, to me, it's just that's a, that's a big issue. Um, there's photos of the statue, promo photos that actually show it even on the box that it shows you um, with light that you can see it pretty strong. You should be able to do that. Now I had to turn off the lights for me to be able to tell that the light was actually on. And as you can see, it is uh, functioning. Uh, there are three modes. One is just um, off, one is on fully, and one that gives you that effect of coming from his mouth all the way around so that is how the flame works so i had to turn on the turn off the lights just to show you guys how um, it actually functions but that's the third uh, issue i have with this statue which is pretty big i would say I mean, in my opinion it's a it's a faulty fire it's a faulty piece it should definitely be a lot stronger even with light on and you shouldn't have to turn off the lights for you to be able to tell that it's actually working so i took pictures and actually those look good in pictures but you got to keep in mind that i have a dslr that has a special lens that picks up the light a lot better and the lights were completely off one of the issues that i forgot to mention um, that i'm a little worried about is that the, the actual flame is pretty heavy and in my mind i feel a little bit worried that in time if i leave it too long am i actually fall because it's too heavy or actually affect the bottom part of the mouth there on bowser so that's one thing that um they could have done something better with just a lighter a lighter material so uh, one of the good things about this is that it's just not i think it's the only bowser this big in quarter scale that i've seen 
and in my opinion it's definitely a, a good piece overall if this all these aspects and issues that I have with them had not been there definitely would have been a, an excellent piece because uh, not only because it's one of the only options but it's uh, very impressive when you see it from, if you're a fan of Nintendo and uh, the Super Mario line you, many would say that it's a must so you can have them along with the other pieces I know that Personal Figures actually has uh, Mario coming up which also is uh, quarter scale I hope that that line is actually done better that all these issues that we have with this um, statue are actually taken care of I hope I don't see any of uh, the painting issues at all that QC definitely works because uh, this one definitely deliver in the sense of it being very impressive it's a massive piece it really calls your attention it gives you um, like a big wow as soon as you see it just need to give you an idea um, not just to be negative on this piece I think it has some positive things about it definitely very impressive the nails were done really well as well some of the paint is actually very fairly well done I think the colors are very bright especially on the face uh, and and then on the back it's a little bit muted but still it works I took a very long time to get here obviously it's completely sold out or it's been sold out for a very long time and it's a piece that it actually even goes a lot higher from what it is now I think uh, if you're on the fence just know for a fact that there might be some of those issues as far as paint as far as QA and also with the flame if you are able to get uh, the exclusive you know those things ahead if you're okay with that it's very impressive it's a really beautiful piece I think they did a good job as far as the design and just the overlook and feel of this guy because as soon as you see it it's like wow it's very impressive and I can't wait to actually have him next to uh, Mario and see how that looks so thank you guys that was the uh, quick review of Bowser first four figures if you like what you see in the channel please uh, share the content like this video and check out the other videos that I have there are also many other uh, reviews that I have coming up so stay tuned and happy collecting other